today i am going to talk on the consequence of ileal rejection very short topic look at the image at first this is your liver and this is the gallbladder and this is the duodenum this is duodenum common bile duct this is the small intestine like it is uh, jejunum and this portion is ileum and this is the large gut ascending colon transverse colon descending colon and this on the rectum suppose any patient undergone ileal resection that is the ileal part of the small gut has been resected then what will be the consequence of this patient in the long run at first what is the role of ileum in ileum absorption of bile acid and bile salt occurs as well as absorption of vitamin b12 occurs here now when the ileal part of the small intestine is resected then the absorption of bile acid as well as vitamin b12 will be decreased at first i will talk on the consequence of decreased absorption of bile acid what will be the consequence of bile acid absorption decrease as we know there is a enterohepatic circulation by enterohepatic circulation the bile acid with bile salt secreted or excreted from the liver into duodenum and then the bile acid pass through the small intestine and absorb from the terminal ileum and through the portal venous system it goes again to the liver and again it is secreted through the common bile duct so this is the enterohepatic circulation in another video uh, i speak the enterohepatic circulation and its clinical importance the link in the description box will be given however if the bile acid is not absorbed from the terminal ileum then in the gallbladder the cholesterol concentration will be increased in comparison to bile acid so cholesterol concentration will be increased and bile acid concentration will be decreased and due to high level of cholesterol in the bile in the gallbladder the cholesterol will precipitate and form cholesterol stone that is called gallbladder stone so this is the number one consequence of decreased bile acid absorption from the terminal ileum of a patient with terminal ileum resection the number two consequence as the bile acid not absorbed rather the bile acid is excreted through the gut tube so the, by the intrahepatic circulation decreased amount of bile acid will be excreted so in the small gut the bile acid concentration will be decreased and due to lack of adequate amount of bile acid the fat absorption at first the fat emulsification and then fat absorption will be decreased so due to low level of bile acid secretion the fat absorption will be decreased so this is the number two consequence decrease fat absorption now the number three consequence look at again in the diagram when the bile acid and bile salt are not absorbed from the gut a small gut then the bile acid and bile salt pass in high amount in the large gut normally more than 95 percent bile acid and bile salt are absorbed and less than 5 percent bile acid are excreted through stool that means only 5 percent bile acid 
passes uh, from the small intestine into the large gut only 5 percent but when there is a case of ileal resection then higher amount of bile acid passes from the small intestine into the large gut and in the large gut this high amount of bile acid is toxic and these toxic bile acid increase the secretion of water and electrolyte into gut lumen and this high amount of water and electrolyte in the gut lumen causes watery diarrhea so this is the number three consequence the watery diarrhea okay number four consequence again look at the diagram in the large gut calcium bind with oxalate and form calcium oxalate salt and this calcium oxalate salt passes through a stool but when there is high amount of bile acid present in the large gut the calcium will bind with the bile acid or bile salt and precipitate the calcium and bile acid and passes through the stool and in that case this oxalate will remain free this oxalate will remain free inside the gut lumen this free oxalate will be absorbed from the colon in high amount so oxalate level in the blood will be increased and this oxalate in the blood passes through the kidney and in the renal tubular cell this oxalate precipitate with calcium and form calcium oxalate salt and thereby form calcium oxalate stone okay so this is the consequence number four consequence is formation of renal stone okay the last not the least number five consequence is the consequence of reduced absorption of vitamin b12 from the terminal ileum when the absorption of vitamin b12 will be decreased this decreased amount of vitamin b12 will be responsible for megaloblastic anemia as because as we know the vitamin b12 is the maturation factor for erythropoiesis okay so in short what are the consequence of ileal resection number one the formation of gall bladder stone that is cholelithiasis and number two decreased fat absorption which leads to weight loss and estetoria and number three watery diarrhea number four renal stone and number five megaloblastic anemia so thank you thank you for your patience for watching if you think this video is helpful for you you may please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you thank you very much